Hello and welcome to another lecture on circuit theory. Today we will be looking at two of the most fundamental laws for analyzing electrical circuits. So KCL and KVL which stands for Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law named after the scientist Kirchhoff. So Kirchhoff's current law basically states that there should be continuity of charge in an electrical circuit. So continuity of charge means that there can be no accumulation of charge at a certain point. So imagine that we have a node and a number of branches are terminating in this node. So if these branches are carrying currents, let's say I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5, then the charge cannot accumulate here. So the sum of these currents at a particular node should be equal to zero. So there is nothing sacred about the direction of the current. I can assume that I1 and I2 are going towards the node while I3, I4 and I5 are leaving the node. In this case then I will write that I1 plus I2 equals I3 plus I4 plus I5. So we can consider any direction for the current as long as we remain consistent. That if current moving towards the node is assumed as positive, then the current leaving the node must be assumed as negative. So this comes from the basic Kirchhoff's current law. Since current is nothing but the rate of change of charge, as I discussed in my previous lecture, if you haven't seen, I have defined the electrical quantities, current voltages in terms of the fundamental physical quantities like charge and force and energy. So basically rate of change of charge, which is the current, has to have continuity across nodes in an electrical circuit. Now let's take a look at Kirchhoff's voltage law, which states that there should be conservation of energy in an electrical circuit. So imagine that I have a circuit like this, a battery V connected to a resistance, then another resistance and another resistance like this. And this is the ground. So let's say this is R1 R2 and R3. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of the potential differences, since voltage is nothing but potential difference, the sum of the potential differences should be zero. So what is the physical interpretation of it? So if you saw my previous lecture, I defined their voltage as the potential difference between two points. And what is potential? Potential is the work done in bringing a charge from infinity to a certain point. So let's say if I start here, I go around this big loop and I come back to the same point, then the work done by that charge is zero since I return to the same point. So that is why we can write and here also the the convention can be either negative to positive as plus or positive to negative as plus as long as you remain consistent. So I am taking negative to positive as a negative potential draw. So imagine in this loop if I say that a current I is flowing then I can write a loop equation going from here minus to positive 
has negative, then this drop across resistance R1 would be positive and negative like this, and then positive and negative like this. So I can write minus V plus I times R1 plus I times R3 equal to zero. In a similar way, other loops can be written. I can have a loop like this and another loop like this. As long as we are returning to the same point, then the sum of the potential differences should be zero. And this comes from the basic principle of conservation of energy. So continuity of charge and conservation of energy. Some very basic laws, but we will see in the coming lectures that these are the backbone for analyzing complex electrical circuits and networks, and we will be continually using them throughout this lecture series on electrical circuit theory. So in the next lecture, we will be using KCL and KVL to solve some fairly complex networks and uh, I look forward to meeting you there. Thank you.